on yet. That's supposed to be a number nine. There. Wait, no. That reminds me. It's, it's time, time to fill, fill the ninth, ninth edition of the EDS, EDS News. Now for this week's edition on what's hot, new movies. Many new movies have come out recently with a great controversy of reviews. Both It and American Made are two new movies that have gotten great reviews so far. It is a new remake of their original, which was a horror movie based on Stephen King's novel about Pennywise, the killer clown. It scored 85% on Rotten Tomatoes. American Made is the new Tom Cruise movie about the CIA and a communist threat in Central America. It scored 87% on Rotten Tomatoes. On the other hand, Flatliners is a new movie about dying, discovering the afterlife, and being brought back to life right before it's too late. The movie unfortunately got very bad reviews, only scoring 3% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's all for this week on What's Hot. Tune in next week for more sizzling news. And now for sports. Brady Christie went to tennis sectionals on Tuesday at North at 4.30 and lost. The high school girls soccer team had sectionals on Thursday against Modern Day at North Posey, but unfortunately they lost. The girls finished the season ranked third in the state with a 14-3 record. And that's all for this week's edition of sports. Now for this week's edition of high school news. We've had several college visits this week. The University of Notre Dame, Indiana Tech, Butler University, Earlham College, Franklin College, and Bellarmine University have all visited EDS. College visits are important to high school students because they give information about potential colleges you may want to attend. Parent-teacher conferences are coming up as well. Parents, please be sure you are checking your emails for links to sign up for a day and time for these conferences. Upper school students are also required to participate. Lastly, congratulations to Max Lowry, Sophie Fox, and Sarah Ballard for being honored at the 27th Annual High School Mathematics Recognition Banquet at UV. They received scholarship offers and special certificates from the university. Good work, guys. And that's it for this week's edition of High School News. And now it's time for the middle school news. Last Saturday, the middle school cross-country team participated in the state championship race in Carmel, Indiana. Here are the runners who qualified for the boys' team. Marshall Trailer in 5th grade, Brayden Foster in 8th grade, Carson Newton in 5th grade, Jacob Bernard in 6th grade, Nathan Foster in 6th grade, Kitty Pop Chanu in 8th grade, Austin Boyle in 6th grade, and Connor Boyle in 8th grade. For the girls' team, we have Gwen Trailer in 7th grade, Bella Sawyer in 6th grade, Kylie Hamby in 6th grade, Emma Truce in 8th grade, and Ma Mia Kelsey in 4th grade. Congratulations, runners, for qualifying in the state championship. Join us next week for another edition of the Middle School News. Hi, my name is Gabe, and now it's time for Lower School News. This week in the Lower School, fourth grader Jason Sogard and third grader Andrew Foster ran in the state cross country meet this past weekend. Congratulations to these day school athletes. Also in the Lower School, we are getting excited about no night. Gnome Night is a primary school tradition where primary school students and parents go throughout the nature trails and enjoy hot dog s'mores and other fall activities. This year's Gnome Night theme is Gnome is where the heart is. Gnome Night is on Tuesday, October 10th from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Come join us for this fun autumn celebration. That's all this week for lower school news. Tune in next week for more. This week for upcoming events. Tuesday, October 10th is Gnome Night from 5 to 7 p.m. along with a middle school speech meet at 3.30 p.m. Wednesday, October 11th is the PSAT from 8 to 11.30 a.m. for the sophomores and juniors. Thursday, October 12th is Picture Retake Day from 8 o'clock to 8.45 a.m. and the Hispanic Fiesta from 1.30 to 3.30 a.m. October 16th to 20th is fall break. Tune in next week for more upcoming events. Now it's time for this week's amusing edition of In the Halls, where we put EDS students on the hot seat. What is Forrest Gump's password? I, I've never watched that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, is it like the, you're never gonna get what you, or no. like. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, 
What do you call a camel with no humps? A camel? <laughs> or a horse, a horse. A donkey, a donkey. A horse. A horse, donkey, I don't know. A horse. horse. What asks but never answers? <laughs> uh, my internal world. A question? A question. What can you catch but never throw? A, a soccer ball. <laughs> soccer ball? Fish. What's the difference? A cough. <laughs> difference between a well-dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bike? The, the better dressed man is better dressed, but he's on a unicycle. <laughs> he has two wheels. The difference? Oh, uh, financial status? I don't know. <laughs> There's two wheels on a bicycle. If you are wanting to purchase a yearbook ad, listen up. If you buy an ad in the yearbook, you can advertise a business or send a congratulations to a student on their accomplishments. Please contact our yearbook staff or Miss Connect Car if you are interested. The primary school at EDS has been participating in peace and mindfulness-based activities throughout the semester. Primary school began last Monday with yoga, led by Rebecca Douglas from Tri-State Yoga Studio. This is part of their ongoing activities leading up to Peace Week. These activities lay the groundwork for Peace Week on March 19th through the 23rd. Peace Week inspires empathy, kindness, compassion, and leadership through collaborative cross-grade level learning and further reinforces the mindfulness initiative that is underway at EDS. Come join us next week at our Hispanic Fiesta. Thursday, October 12th from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m., the entire EDS community is invited to Hispanic Fiesta in the trailer atrium. As a cultural activity of our Hispanic Heritage Month, we will hold a truly special fiesta to celebrate the wonders of our Hispanic world and to showcase our student accomplishments. This will be an exciting event that we hope you won't miss. Please allow students to visit the different stations, learn about the Hispanic world, dance, eat, and mingle at the Hispanic Fiesta. We hope that you will join us for this fun, educational, and culturally rich activity. See you next week at the Fiesta. Preparing for next week. Join us next, next week for the 10th edition, edition of the EDS News.